So I was uh, 21 years old. I was a senior in college, and uh, I, uh, my neighborhood that I grew up in was kind of becoming the dumping ground of everything that the community didn't want. So the jail was there, the impound lot was there, the, the sewage treatment plant was there. When I was a senior, uh, the county was looking to put in a second jail, could go anywhere in the county, and they looked at like 13 locations. Uh, and. Um, Nine of those 13 were in the east end of Newark, which is my neighborhood, and lo and behold, that's where it went. And I was just like, this is ridiculous. Uh, we need to have better representation than that. And at the time, it was a 70% Democratic ward, and I was 21 running against the county's Democratic Man of the Year, but uh, knocked on a lot of doors, met a lot of people, and run, ran because I wanted to make a difference. I have often said that uh, I consider myself a pro-family legislator. There's nothing that's more pro-family than to help an individual to be able to get a job. I subscribe to the theory that government doesn't create jobs, but we create, do a lot to create the, the climate and the atmosphere that, that, uh, that allows private sector job growth to be able to occur. Nothing is more rewarding than if a mom or dad comes home and says, hey, I, I, I got a job. Uh, or uh, hey, I got a, a, a um, uh, an advancement. I'm able, I'm able to go to a, to, a, to a higher, better paying job. That is the, the most incredible, rewarding experience. And when government can help create the environment and climate where that can happen, uh, that's really rewarding. You know, Intel really is a, a great you know capping stone. Uh, it's, it's about I don't know 12, 14 miles from my home and uh, ultimately it's going to be the largest chip manufacturer in the world and I think it's going to be transformational uh, not just for my home county of Licking, not just for central Ohio, but uh, throughout the entire state of Ohio. I think most people run for office because uh, they care, uh, they, they want to make a difference, they want, they want to improve their communities. You know, uh, families really are the foundation uh, of, of society. If you don't have strong families, it's hard to have strong communities. Uh, if you don't have uh, children that uh, you know, uh, know where their food's going to come from, where their next meal's coming from, where they're going to live, everything that we do really is going to uh, be difficult to have success without strong families. I grew up, I, I have to say, I grew up as an at-risk youth. My, my wife grew up as an at-risk youth, and so that's where our passion has been. And so whether it's you know, uh, boys and girls clubs or big brothers, big sisters or doing things for the YMCA's. Um, I think every child deserves the chance uh, to be a kid and um, we need to do all that we can in the state of Ohio uh, to make it great to, to be a kid uh, and uh, to be a great place to, to grow up. And uh, I think we've made some great improvements uh, in, in those areas in recent years. I'm really proud of, of some of the work that we've done, but the, the battles are not over. But when we help children, we are really changing the course of, of their future um, and their children's uh, future. And when we help children, give them, um, um, whether it's in education, uh, whether it's opportunities, whether it's helping them meet some of the day-to-day the, the -day challenges that they have, when we're able to do that, uh, we're a stronger state and we're a stronger state because you know, we're, we're made up of stronger communities and stronger families. I think I've had the best job in the world uh, the past 28 years. If I could have done anything uh, at all, uh, it's this. This is a really important place. Um, the, the legislature is a place where you can make real and significant uh, impact and difference. I think Ohio is a great state. I'm really cautiously optimistic and hopeful uh, about our future in the state of Ohio. Uh, but again, that really centers around you know, how strong are our children, how strong are our families, how strong are our communities. And I think we've made some, some great uh, strides in, in those areas. The same reason why I ran for, for public office is because I, I love people, uh, I, I wanted to serve, I wanted to help, wanted to, to, to strengthen and improve our communities. That doesn't retire. I'm, I'm leaving office, you know, at the, at the end of the month and I'm, I'm no longer going to have a title in front of my name. I'm no longer going to be either Senator Hottinger or Representative Hottinger. Uh, but my reasons for wanting to serve, I still have that same uh, passion. And so uh, loving people, serving people, helping, trying to strengthen our communities, that doesn't retire and I hope it never does. To my colleagues uh, and to those that, that will be coming after me, you know, your, your time here, uh, my 28 years went like that uh, and it really does go uh, quickly. 
and uh, seize your opportunities, seize your moments. Uh, you have an important position that's been entrusted to you that you're able to, uh, to have a, a real difference and an impact on, on Ohioans' lives. Uh, it's one that we shouldn't take lightly, and I know uh, we don't. But uh, seize those opportunities because uh, one day uh, your, your term limit clock is going to hit and, and you're going to leave public office. And so I hope you can look back with no regrets and say uh, we did the best we can with the amount of time we had and we helped uh, the greatest number of people that we could.